Sorry to wake you up so alarmingly. You are actually sitting, probably sitting, on the most safest place in the world right now. What I'm going to tell you now is going to shock all of you. This morning, American time, 8.30, a 737 was flown into one of the Twin Towers at the World Trade Center in New York. It was full of passengers. It was hijacked. It was an internal flight. 20 minutes later, another airplane flew into the other Twin Tower. That one was hijacked as well. About two hours later, an airplane flew into the Pentagon, full of passengers, another hijacked. And a fourth airplane was crashed in Pittsburgh with undisclosed number of people dead. Shortly after the one in New York, the Twin Towers collapsed. Here, believe it or not, we are safe. Obviously, the Americans, first of all, would like to contact their people in America and talk to them, and reassure them. And then anybody else who wishes to talk to anybody, if you have any relations or friends in America, and if you want to talk to them, then you can use a satellite telephone, which is down in the great cabin. Other than that, we'll continue with our normal routine and keep on trucking, because there's nothing we can do. We have the minimum of details, and only our imaginations to depend on. One thing we can be sure of, the world we will be returning to, is going to be a very different place to the one we left behind just three weeks ago. question two days ago whether I'd like living in, being an 18th century sailor and I said no. I think I kind of like to be one now.